In this video, we will discuss resetting your master pin and doing a master reset. This is a good way to keep track of your lights by naming them, quickly resetting and pairing your lights, and preventing anyone from making changes to your lights without your permission. If you already set your master pin, you can now skip to the master reset. Setting and changing the master pin. To begin, you will need to be paired with your lights. Tap on each individual light, and you will notice a red caution symbol indicating that the master pin is not set. Tap on that notice. The factory default pin is 123456. Enter your new pin and confirm. Now you may get an error message saying that the wrong password was entered or you timed out, but you will know if the change went through if the red icon has disappeared. You will need to initially do this to each light. Some things to remember. In the future, if you ever want to change the pin again, you can scroll down to Change Master Pin. Also, it is important that you do not forget your master pin as it cannot be retrieved. Your lights will still function, but there are some features in the app that you won't be able to access. Treat your master pin like your debit card pin. Only give it to people who are authorized to use it. Master Reset. This will reset your lights and quickly pair several lights to a single transceiver. To begin, we suggest that you put your lights in a color like blue so you can easily see if the change worked. Go into Advanced Actions and choose Master Reset Lights. You will be prompted to enter your pin. All lights that have that pin will begin to flicker white. You can hit the Enter button on the light to accept the change, or to make things easier, use the Art1 remote and just hold the On button. When done, tap OK in the app. The lights will turn red to indicate that the reset is complete. And you can now see that all lights are paired with the app. Next, we will change the name of each light. And there are two ways to do this. First, with each light, tap on the name. You will need to unlock this feature by entering the master pin. Again, tap on the name and input the new one. Then be sure to go back in and lock it. The next way is by onboarding. Go into Advanced Actions and select Onboard Lights. You will be prompted to change the master pin from the default. But if you have already created a unique pin, you do not need to change it here. Just enter your pin three times. You can turn on the scan barcode and scan each light to name it for its serial number, or you can name them something else. Type in the name and hit enter on the corresponding light. Here, I just added a number and hit enter on the light to accept it, then change the number and hit it on the next light, and so on. Back in the list of lights, even though the light names are locked, you and your customers can still label each fixture number for clarity. We hope that you found this information helpful. Please watch the rest of the videos in this series. And for more useful tips and assistance, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to all of our channels.